Well, let me quickly take you down memory lane. Uh, it's exactly one year after the abduction of 200 Chibok girls, one year when uh, terrorists turned into the Chibok um, uh, secondary school, Bonu State, cutting away over 200 girls and, you know, just like spoils of war. A few days after a protest movement sprang up, they called themselves the hashtag bring back our girls now the role of this particular protest group has been questioned over the years the political role they play and of course many are beginning to talk about the impact of that particular campaign even on the political gains or otherwise um, of the uh, prominent political parties in Nigeria, the impact that the Bring Back Our Girls movement, as well as the occasion of the abduction of over 200 Chibo girls, the impact that really had on the outcome of the 2015 general elections. But let's find out from uh, this campaign groups, uh, as one of them did share with us the experience in the past one year. The line, the government itself did not help matters because the government was very aggressive towards us. The government uh, did not tolerate us. The government was not ready to listen to us. And therefore, that was the narrative it kept uh, putting out to the public. And unfortunately, most of the public bought into that narrative. And so what we got was hostility. People were hostile to us. The government was hostile to us. The government institutions were hostile to us. The security people were hostile to us. There was a day we were even attacked here by thugs in the presence of soldiers and policemen and they did not even attempt to um, protect well the question on the lips of many right now is one year after where are the Chibo girls. I'm joined now on the first segment of this show by legal practitioner Wale Ogwande. Good morning and thank you for finding time to join us today, Barrister. Thank you for inviting me and good morning out there. Well, they say the Chibok experience uh, brought Nigeria into to the center of the whole world, you know, gained lots of global attention. Many people became more popular even on the international media. But it looks as if there were people who had gains, who had advantages, who had political, you know, gains, so to speak. But the bottom line is one year after, the cheaper girls are nowhere to be found. Where did we get it wrong? Because many are saying we got the media hype we wanted. But it looks as if that wasn't enough. Yeah. We got it. We got it wrong through the government. Immediately the event happened. I know that part of Nigeria, unfortunately, fortunately, is not a third place. The roads are not third. I mean, I mean, if it's a third road, when the trucks and it's not just one truck that came. They said about five trucks came to pick those girls. And it's a simple thing. The local government chairman, let's even assume he didn't say anything, he didn't do anything, which I know he did. And part of the reason why we will have to look at this issue of the chief security officer. The chief security of a local government is the chairman, the chief security of the state is the governor, and of course the commander-in-chief is the overall. But of all, it is the commander-in-chief that has the power to mobilize. But we'll leave that for another discussion, maybe or later. But where it is, is that government got, was the one that caused all this problem, because the day it broke, one, two, three days. There can still be the marks of those trucks because obviously it's a different thing. It's not a place that trucks go regularly. Yeah. It's a local community that only small cars and car that apply on a regular basis. So you you trace the mark of the of these trucks to where it's vermouthed into thin air, and you begin your uh, overt or covert operations from there. And in a jiffy, before you surround the whole place, even if it's a 100 kilometer radius, 200 kilometers radius, you surround the place, put men there, they begin to comb the place, and they will get the. But of course, time lag, in between, they begin to disseminate them, distribute them. And I want people to, rem to note one thing. The Shekau, whoever is, it, because it's, it's a brand, the, the, the Shekau name is a brand name for whoever beco uh, becomes the leader of that, uh, of the Boko Haram group, came out on a regular basis to say, making serious statement, a, a positive statement, and they came to us to the extent that, as far as I'm concerned, these girls are no more in Nigeria. I'm sure about that, because the man came out one day and said, we are going to sell them, and the second one, we are going to marry them off. Mm. Right. So, and of course, the third one, he said they are no more in Nigeria. So, if all those statements with their antecedents, then definitely they are no more in Nigeria. 
But again, that does not mean these girls can't be found. If there are other people's wives, obviously you know that you married a, a stolen wife, a stolen person, and you too that you are the husband that's in the in the realm of law. You too you'll be you you you'll be culpable for as an accomplice, accessory as after the fact, we call it accessory after the fact. But even let's leave the legalism out of it. We the issue of hype or no hype, yes, some advantages we are gotten by some people. And government to all intents and purposes, I mean the federal government was the one now receiving the bashing because it did not play a, an active role the, the moment this thing happened. It's, it's quite scandalous because I don't think it has happened. I've gone through history, I've read, maybe if anybody calls in to correct me, I've gone through history, I've not seen a situation where such number of young girls were taken in one false swap. And the government in that environment where it was, uh, those girls were taken did not play any role whatsoever to rescue them. And it's quite a scandal that it happened in Nigeria. And really, the most scandalous is that it's not even the major issue for campaign during the last election. It was just about uh, some other mundane thing and hate speeches that dominated the airspace. Maybe again, for propaganda purposes, to douse the issue of this Chibogbe. Because in other climes, this is enough to even send the government packing itself automatically without getting major votes as it did. Yeah. So to me, it's a big embarrassment because during the when this when this uh, film was was shown that uh, they, they, they they displayed them, parents identified their daughters there, yeah. and which me put paid to initial denial that no there there was nothing like uh, these girls taking and co and co and co. And one thing I hope the next government should not try Nigerians by deceiving them or running a government of deceit. We want transparency because you see the world is now a global village and of course technology had made everything so open that anybody who tries to cover up will just messing himself up. We understand the reasons behind the campaigns, you know, the activities of the many groups that characterize uh, the aftermath of this abduction. Mm. But would you see at any time that um, did you see any political hijacking of this process because after all it began to look at like an anti-government protest which you and i will agree eventually impacted on the chances of the present administration at the polls no i just said this a few minutes ago i don't think this entire uh, this uh, this uh, hype this uh, chibok girl thing really impacted on the on the on the on the on the nigerian uh, during the elections and if I would do a small analysis, in the, in the Southwest particularly, people wanted change, not for anything, but for the dismal failure of the president and this present administration. They didn't deliver. The issue of, just as I said, the issue of uh, chip up girls was not on the front burner. Rather, they were looking at the issue of certificate and code to, to, to disturb those people at the APC. And APC was trying to, one way or the other, sell its candidate that year. He will fight corruption. That's what the man was saying. Maybe once in a while he was talking about security. He never used the issue of, it, I'll bring back the Chibok girls, I'll see where they are, and go. At maybe once in a while he'll say, yes, I'll fight Boko Haram, and I'm a world general, I'll lead the, the campaign. That is on the part of uh, uh, in the Southwest and so on. In the North, the man was a northern upper sea, and of course he's like in the north. He has this God knows clouds in the north that he, he has a followership that, that nobody can explain. Anywhere Buhari is, people are just there, they care less. So in the south, south, in the south, south and south east, we saw the bad pattern. They care less about any Jeepok girl thing. They voted a mouse for their son. And of course, that's where I'm going. So the issue, I don't seem, and I'm high, it's time to be corrected, that the issue of Jeepok girl did not play any part whatsoever in this election. Nobody, it's, it's not an issue, it wasn't an issue, which again was an embarrassing thing. So to that extent, I won't say that, uh, I, 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 I don't want to, I will not subscribe to the issue that, yes, this issue, this Jeepok girl played a very, uh, any significant thing. And to me, it's a shame, particularly to the leadership of this country, because they are all parents. And I don't think any person, in his right thinking mind will sit down and see his girl missing a girl yeah. for how, how a, a age of between age 12 and 15 or 16 or 17 and 18 yeah. in the hands of brigades in the hands of such characters for one year how about let's look at uh, let, let me please let me just bury it to me it shows a sum of, of of carelessness that it doesn't matter and you see in civil society we have this cliche that an attack on one is an attack on all it is the cheaper girls today. 
the way it has gone, if we have we do we do nothing to ensure that this thing is eradicated in Nigeria forever, it may be another a community, it may be your daughter or my, my cousin or my daughter tomorrow. So we must put our hands on deck, all of us. And really we may be in, in fairness yesterday I had a meeting with some people that we looked at it that maybe Maybe because this is an Abuja thing, we look at it that is a northern thing, so it does not concern the rest of us. We have now said, okay, we the Lagos people, because Lagos is the headquarters, is the center of center when it comes to issues of activism and so on. And we are starting a project, the Chibok Guest Lagos Rally in Lagos. And by the grace of God, we'll be at the, at the Ganifawa Emi Square, uh, Ganifawa Emi uh, Park in Ojota, 10 o'clock on Friday. We're going, if you, if you are interested in joining us, please join us, all men of goodwill, particularly parents and fathers particularly, but of course mothers and women and anybody who is interested should join us at the Tafa, uh, sorry, I keep on saying Tafa, at the Ganifa Wemi Park or Jota, 10 o'clock on Friday. I've so really we'll been able to identify where the present administration got it wrong in handling the abduction of these girls. Many were of the opinion that the moment the Bring Back Our Girls uh, movement came out, mm. that probably the presidency should initially have just identified with the group since it was a question of Bring Back Our Girls and not have opposed that movement and have it turn out the way it did. You see, I, I said that earlier on. It took maybe two weeks or three weeks before the government officially, the federal government officially reacted. And I said it shouldn't have been, and that's what happened. If immediately this incident happened, they sent, even if it's the police that they sent, the regular police, they will have done, a, 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 they will have gotten them. Because all they need to do is to see, okay, they passed through this side, they went through this way, they went through, the, it's a road, it's, it, it, it's a road, it's not, even forest, you see marks. Let's even say forest, you see the marks of a truck. What I'm saying now is exactly the way it was handled, yes. you know, via the press, the yes. position, because the perceived position of the federal government yes. was that they saw the protest as yeah. an anti-government yes. protest. Many were of the opinion that probably the presidency could have even identified with the protest. Yes. And together, you know, at a point, they came up with, the, with another hashtag, uh, uh, bring back uh, girls, I think they were saying, let us focus the question to the terrorist Boko Haram bring back I guess there was a time that, that's where I was going that's why that, I, that was mm. uh, that was where I was going mm. if the, in, immediately the issue broke government took decisive action trust Nigerians all of us who support government mm. that yes we want these people and of course there are some people I mean if you remember hunters when there are people like us who mobilize Nigerians that let's see how we can go we will go to Sambisa forest is it not the Aluta people we will go there, I can assure you. But government did not handle the matter very well. And it's a natural thing that they didn't handle the matter very well. They will not support government in this. So that's what brought about the Bring Back Our Girls campaign. It's not as if as soon as the thing started, the Bring Back Our Girls campaign started. They didn't start immediately. It was the inaction of government that made them come out so as to bring the attention of the world to this issue, to give it all the attention it needed. Because as far as government was concerned, government was concerned, this incident never happened. They swept it under the carpet. They killed all the any news item that was coming. Their institution, the NTAs and all, never played any role in it. They never gave it any prominence. And you heard what that gentleman was saying, that all government institutions were antagonistic. And of course, I know that when I was in Abuja that day, that these people were, wanted to go to Abuja. They were messed up. Uh, no, sorry, they wanted to go to, to see the president in Asorov. They were messed up and they were chased like dogs. These are Nigerians. These are right activists. Look, it is, people fought for Jonathan before he became president. People fought for him when the cabal won, did not want him to be the president. So the right activists have a role. So if people are fighting for a cause, we must identify with the cause. Mm. Look at the position now of the incoming administration. The president-elect huh? already says he's not sure that the Chibo girls uh can still be rescued would you call that a safe position to take at this time it's safe because just as i said earlier on it's commonsensical i say shekau has said that these girls will be married away will be sold and of course they will be moved away it's a natural thing mm. don't tell me that these shekau people are dummies are idiots so they know you are coming after them months after they will not either use them as human shield or use them as an uh, object of uh, negotiation, so they will keep them where you get easily lay your hands on them. 
Papa, only a fool will do that, and I don't think these guys are fools. The way they have carried their activities, they are not fools. But what they may be think? against Boko Haram. They may be saying education, Western education is bad, but obviously they have been using Western education and, of course, intelligence to, to perfect their acts. If not, whenever the man comes on video, he, he, he reads something. Is it not, is it not, is not, is it not true education? What exactly should be the expectation of Nigerians from this government, especially concerning the cheap burgers? Many are saying that, well, even if you can bring them back, Nigerians deserve to know what actually happened. To Definitely, them. that is going to happen. Is either they will get them, they will get them. Look, they are under the, except they are dead, they are buried. Some, of course, there are some other theory that, yeah, most of the bomber, the suicide bombers that we've been seeing are the people, some of them. Okay, but whichever way, a thorough investigation will be launched on this issue. I know that for sure. And once that is done, then we'll begin to get the, 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 the gist behind this thing. And at the end of the day, we'll now see. If it's one, I know that at least one or two, just as I said earlier on, if somebody, has been married. If one of them is married to somebody, they will trace that person and get the girl back. Either as a mother, not a girl now, maybe. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Call Digest. My name is Adebi. Ade? Adebi. 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 Where are you calling from? Yes, I want to join the... Uh, Adebi, where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? Surudere, Surudere. All right, please go ahead. Go ahead with your contribution. Good morning. Good morning, Adebi. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. that's very nice. How about the election? Hope you have enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, And the you. other gentleman, good morning to you too. Morning, sir. Uh, I just wanted to chip in uh, to your program. This is Mr. Adebi. He could just get there. He could read it. Oh. Which I asked Mr. Femi to translate <laughs> in English. He God will help him. That is, the, that is the translation I meant about the culture that he couldn't He couldn't So, Mr. Femi, I just called you to let you know the meaning of what I said. Hmm. What I said before the election. That's right. When Fale, 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 Fale in the city was, that, you know, telling a. Uh, the world that this is the will of uh, Ikiti people. And Father me declare the dangerous thing that I accept it. And I told you, if there is that, same thing will happen to PDP, that they should come out like Father Emi. And then truly, this thing happened to the president himself, that thank God you have won. So I love this thing, and this uh, thing is happening like that. To say thank God to APC, you have won the election. Thank God. So there's no problem. We are going to see the full change in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. as, as, as I speak, I'm feeling the air of change. The changes in me through the Almighty God. God has cleared the behalf of the air, not the people. Whatever people want, God follows it. So, if any and the two of that get to me, please go ahead with your good job. Good morning to you once again. Thank you very much for your contribution, Prophet Adebi from, from Lagos. But the records also do have it that about 2,000 women have been abducted by the same Boko Haram since 2014. Mm -hmm. Are we, uh, would you say that our vision for the Bring Back Our Girls is broad enough to also capture these many other people who had suffered the same fate? Obviously now, it is a name. That Bring Back Our Girls is a name. Obviously, the whole essence of that project is to stop that. Then, of course, all those who have been captured, kidnapped, or abducted, be brought back. That is the whole essence of it, right? No doubt, the the girls' issue is more prominent. That's the essence of it. But there are ancillary demands and issues related to that. It's a natural thing, and just as I know, I know that in this incoming government will do something because. The people's expectations are very high, mm. and I know that this government will not cut the expectation of the people. I know that. I don't just something tells me, and not just mark my word. And all those who are watching, 
Mark my word, you will see. Because obviously, no system and no society will continue this type, this type of a thing. That things are done nonchalantly, impunity yeah. is the order of the day, there is no regard for law and order, the security of the state and the environment is nothing to write on about. Nobody can sleep and say he's safe. You are walking on the street, nobody is comfortable that indeed there is security. We can't continue like this. Yeah. And because, you see, whatever comes round, whatever goes round will come round. Yeah. Look at it now. And we keep telling them that democracy is not monarchy. Even if it's monarchy that you'll be there forever, one day your, 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 your cousin, your brother or your sister will be a victim somewhere. Even if you surround yourself with all the trappings of power, that doesn't mean that you won't be, your, somebody will not be a victim. So I know that we are going to treat all these issues now the way Ebola was treated because it's a leveler. So if we don't want anybody to be, a, to, be, to be a victim, then all of us must ensure that we bring about a sane society. It begins with you and I. Mm. All of us must play a role in this place, but of course, government will lead by ensuring that all institutions of government play their role very well. I'm impressed with what that man said. He said, all institutions of government, I know that the police were against them, they were hunting them. I know along the line they were tear gassed. And I know along the line that they encourage thugs to go there and beat them up. And of course, those, those thugs and all those who are doing those things, we are doing it as we call it, order from above. Yeah. So if all the things are okay, then definitely we'll have a sane society. Thank you very much for finding time to join us this hour. Well, I've been speaking with Barrister Wale Ogun Ade, and of course he talks about... They bring back our girls in Lagos chapter kicking up quite very soon. We'll and not that. very soon, on uh, Friday, on Friday, 10 o'clock, Ghani, Fawaimi, mm. Park, or Jota. Please join us, anybody. We want a better Nigeria. Mm. Let's all rally around this project and let's see. They are having one in Abuja. We want to have us two in Lagos so That's that right. we'll continue to blow it out. And at the end of the day, we know sanity will prevail. We'll take a break now and we'll be back with more. Stay with us. Don't go away. Nigerians are expected to seek out the best Two words to describe the activity. The European Unity Forum is coming. Be the, the first to know. From the north, south, east, west, and around Africa. Presidential ambition. We break the news. Women in Nigeria. Now you can catch all the actions live as news the news Nigeria. breaks. We are Core TV News. Welcome to Core TV Primetime News. A 24-hour news station.